All right, everybody, so first things first, the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is make sure that you are, in fact, using a GMRS radio. There are a lot of FFRS radios out there that look like GMRS radios and also have a lot of the same features. Some even have GPS location tracking and NOAA weather alerts and a lot of features like that. But repeaters cannot be used with FRS radios. They just aren't uh, part of that radio system. The FCC uh, tightly regulates what those FRS radios can do. Um, and they're just not capable of doing repeaters. They're not designed for that. So with your GMS handheld radio, or if you're using mobile or base station, the settings are gonna be pretty much the same uh, to get you communicating on a repeater. So what we wanted to do now is talk about briefly the channels that repeaters use. So GMS channels 15 through 22 can be used for both mobile to mobile or handheld to handheld, just your simplex radio communications, radio to radio, or they can be used in a repeater setup. And what distinguishes the difference between, let's just say, talking radio to radio and using a repeater is something called an offset. And that is something that will be programmed into your handheld GRMS radio, your base station, or your mobile station. Now that offset is built into a lot of the repeater channels in these radios. So 15 through 22 are the standard you know, GRMS channels for high power, up to 50 watts. However, some radios, such as the Bofang UV5G, the Radioddity series handheld radios, they have channels 23 through 30 in addition to the standard 15 to 22. So again, 23 through 30 are gonna be the um, repeater channels with the built-in offset, that five megahertz offset. Again, when the repeater broadcasts, you're listening on your handheld radio or your mobile or base station. And then when you hit the push to talk, on a repeater configured channel, it's gonna actually broadcast on a slightly different frequency and it's called an offset and it's gonna be plus five megahertz, okay? So again, if you have a newer modern GRMS radio, that offset is built into those channels. Now some radios will list their repeater channels as R15 through 22 or RP15 through 22, whereas some radios have uh, channels 23 through 30 as pre-programmed, right? If you do not have either of those, then the two settings that you need to focus on is the offset, and then you're gonna have to focus on the CTCSS or DCS privacy code, and you will obtain that from whoever operates and owns the repeater. So what we're gonna do first is just cover the programming of a typical GMRS radio that you would buy today that has the pre-programmed GMRS channels. Again, that's gonna be uh, RP, 15 through 22 for some radios, or it's gonna be channels 23 through 30 for others, like the Bofang UV5G Plus and the Radioddity GM-30 Plus. And so what we're gonna do is just show you the one setting that you're gonna to have to use to make it so that you can communicate with a repeater system. And again, um, this is gonna have the offset already programmed in, the five megahertz plus offset, okay? All right, so what we're gonna do here on the Bofang UV5G Plus is program one of the existing pre-programmed repeater channels. And again, this is gonna go for the Radioddity handheld radios as well, such as the GM-30 Plus. So what I wanna do is program my local repeater. So what I know right now is that channel 25 is my local GMRS repeater. So I'm gonna go ahead and scroll up to channel 25. Now, I already know the CTCSS privacy code that the operator uses for that repeater, so all I'm gonna do is go in and program that privacy code. And you hit menu, and I'm gonna go down to option number 10, all the way down to, this is the receiving CTCSS code. I'm gonna hit menu, I'm gonna go down to 123. So all the way down to 123, I'm gonna hit menu again. And then I'm going to go up to the transmit or T-CTCSS, hit menu. And then I'm gonna go down all the way down to 123 for the transmission or the TX-CTCSS code. Go right up here, 123 is flashing, hit menu. Now I can go back and now I can actually key up and see if I get a response from the repeater. So I'm gonna turn the volume up a little bit. All I'm gonna do is hit the push to talk for two seconds, and we should hear a little bit of feedback from the repeater. So 
So that little uh, kind of squelch that you heard there was the uh, basically follow-up of the transmission of the repeater transmission going out. And that is how I know that my communication was working with that repeater. And it is as simple as that, folks. Now, if you find a repeater that uses DCS codes, it's gonna be the same thing. You're gonna hit menu, and you're going to go down to RDCS, or you're gonna go up to TDCS and select whatever DCS uh, codes that they use for privacy codes on their repeater. But again, most repeaters that I see use CTCSS. So that's all fine and dandy, but let's say you have a GMRS radio that does not have any of the pre-programmed GMRS channels in there, and now you have to add a custom channel with the offset and the privacy code. Well, we're gonna show you how to do that right now. What we're gonna do is make sure our radio is in frequency operation mode, VFO here on the GM, uh, or the, uh, sorry, the UV 5G plus. And we're gonna type in the uh, frequency for our local repeater. So I know mine is 462-60000. And then what we need to do is go ahead and set that offset. So I'm gonna hit menu, and then I'm gonna go to do option number 29. I already have the offset programmed in here to 5.00. Then I need to go down to option number 28, and this is gonna be set to the plus option. So again, the direction needs to be plus. There is a plus or minus in the direction, so that means it's gonna add five megahertz uh, for the transmission, or it's gonna subtract. And with GMRS, it's gonna be plus five megahertz. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit menu there. Now what I'm gonna do is go add my CTCSS privacy code. So that's gonna be menu option 10. I'm gonna go ahead and go down to 123. You've all done this probably a bunch of times if you've been following my videos. I'm gonna go ahead and select 123. We're gonna go up to TCTCSS, the transmission CTCSS code. I'm gonna go ahead and set that again. You might be using a DCS code and it could be a completely different code than what I'm using. You're just gonna to have to find out what frequency your local GRMS repeater uses and what the uh, CTCSS codes are gonna be. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and hit back. We have everything configured how it should be. Now what we're gonna do is add this to a custom channel. I'm gonna go ahead and hit menu. I'm gonna go to option, I'm sorry, menu option 30. So that's gonna be memch is the title. I'm gonna hit the menu button again and I'm gonna scroll down. Well, I don't want 39. Let's go ahead and go up to Channel 31, that's a non-standard GRMS channel. You wanna stay away from channels one through 30. Again, one through 30 a lot of times are um, the uh, typical GMRS channels, including pre-programmed repeater channels. So I'm gonna to go to 31, hit menu again, and now we've saved it as channel number 31. So I can go back, I can switch back to channel mode, hitting the VFO MR button. And you can see here I'm on channel 31 now, so I can easily go to this and hit my repeater anytime I want. I'm gonna hit the menu option. Just to confirm our settings, we're gonna go to option 10. We're gonna check the CTCS code for a receive. We're gonna check it for transmit. I'm gonna go to option number 28. We're gonna make sure the offset direction for the repeater is set to plus, which it is. I'm gonna go up and make sure that the offset is actually set to 5.00 or five megahertz. It is, so we should be good to go to do a test. And what I'm gonna do is just hold the push to talk button for a brief moment and see if we get any squelch feedback from the repeater. So that is a really good sign there. We got a little bit of feedback from the repeater retransmitting our broadcast. We can hear the end of that broadcast and that's a good indicator that everything is working smoothly. Well, folks, that's it for using GMRS repeaters in two different ways that you can program your radio for those repeaters. Hopefully this video was helpful. If you're interested in any other preparedness type videos, prepping, homesteading, that kind of stuff, make sure you hit subscribe, like the video, leave a comment if you have a question, and I'll see you in the next video.